Imagine prisoners that have spent their entire lives chained deep inside a cave. They have been chained so that they cannot see behind them. The year eight students at Murray's Bay Intermediate are, are watching a dramatization of Plato's cave as part of their work on cultural identity in a changing world. Behind the allegory of the cave burning. grapples with notions of perception, experience and knowledge. And while the metaphors presented in the story are complex, the students' work on identity has provided a basis of knowledge from which to view the work. So we launched into the didactic stage where we sort of front load the kids. We were examining cultural identity in a changing world. And um, we, so I told them what cultural identity was and then we sort of explored some of the terms. And I brought in like lectures from universities, I brought in interesting articles to do with it. I brought in text, visual, visual text, and then they sort of started exploring that and that's when we started to use Moodle. Everyone used it, there was like hundreds of comments all on it, everyone loved it. Everyone's equal on Moodle, there's nobody dominating the chat or anything. You got to understand each other's points of view, but we also got to understand each other's way of thinking, which is a very great way to actually com learn com social and communication skills. The students shared knowledge and viewpoints and the teacher was able to coach them in how to ask appropriate questions and present their ideas. And when he felt they were ready, he introduced them to the text that would be the subject of the seminar. And the echoes of unseen objects. I played it and everyone sort of did not have a clue what it was about. They were like, what is this? And then we sort of explored it a little bit and then the kids who got it, they would then go on Moodle, they would talk about it. Um, then our kids, who, some of the kids who perhaps didn't get it so much at the start, they would look at Moodle discussions, they would start to read the discussions, and um, then they would start to sort of, sort of have light bulb moments where they would actually realise what was going on. And then we'd, we'd watch it every day, and then it just got slowly built on to um, the end result, and um, where everyone I felt actually knew what they were talking about. They're kind of like imprisoned into... By the time of the seminar, students had traversed much of the ground in online and offline discussions, and they arrived with notes and areas of interest they wished to pursue. I'm interested to know what you guys think about the fire in Plato's cave. I would like to answer your question. I think the fire in the cave is like the media controlling like the society, and because the society believes everything that the media says, is sort of because it's what they think is right. I agree with Louisa's point. It's like the cave is their reality, even though for other people the reality may be different, and the fire is their society slash media influencing them and telling them what their world really is. We, we formed a circle with the desks, and we really focused, and we looked at each other, and we built on each other's thoughts, and we agreed and disagreed with each other. And it was good because the students us, we drove the conversation and we, we understand better from each other. And I think that's like relates to the shadows because that's all they see and it's I literally they introduced the topic to the world, like, and I s did not say one word and for 20 minutes they talked. They didn't really need me, I'd sort of guided them to this point and it was their turn to sort of duel it out with each other. I disagree with a few people have said. I'd like to build on Benji's point. I disagree with Benji's point. And I'd like to build on Lisa's point. The seminar's rules of engagement result in a respectful and reasoned interaction. We all respect each other, and we all respect each other's points of view. Even if you disagree with someone, it's good to be able to understand where they're coming from, and just to be able to see two points of view, whether you agree or not, is really important. I'd like to hear what people um, think the chains mean? I think the chains mean that if they're, if they're chained that certain way they want to stay in that identity um, and they don't want to change. I, mean, I think the chains are sort of like their identity and I know that when you look at them and they've like changed so they can't see behind themselves I think that when they can't see behind themselves it's, uh, it's like they, so they can't see their mistakes. The chains can represent being forced into identity for example David Rumer was into identity, so he was the prisoner, and his mum and dad are the chains. Why did the ancient mariner shoot the albatross? Across town at Bruce McLaren Intermediate, in a very different classroom, the Paideia is having a similar effect on student learning. For almost all the children here, English is a second language, and the Paideia provides a safe structure in which to acquire and practice new vocabulary. So I wanted to give my children another avenue to explore their language through. I'm always looking for 
anything that's going to lift their thinking and their speaking and writing, of course. Like the last day for turning. The class had been working on a unit about disasters, with particular emphasis on man made catastrophes. In the didactic phase, they were exposed to a range of resources. We went on the internet, we read books, we read stories, we done research, we done lots, lots of different things. In the coaching phase, the teacher introduced the students to the Socratic discussion techniques that would be the basis for the seminar. At the same time, students encountered new vocabulary and concepts. Moodle, Moodle's cool because I can say what's on my mind and I can leave it there and then I can come back and edit it because I've thought of more ideas. People who are shy to talk, it is much easier for them to talk. To talk and I can have a one I can have a discussion with them. If people say different words, I don't I don't know. It, I can sound them out on Moodle. There's no child in that class that isn't capable intellectually. They may not always have the words that they want to grab hold of, but they do their very best. It was an, an accident that he shot the arbitral. The rules of engagement for the seminar, with its orderly and collaborative way of working, are particularly effective for these students. It has helped me more to understand, to understand like more words and how the class has discussed. When people don't understand what other people are saying. Some people come in and help. The Padaya seminar is really fun and it, it's good for other people to learn and to speak more of English. Most essential, if she say, give us a question, people say yes, no, yes, no, no reason. And that's how we're not kind of learning. And seminar was like, we, we, we do say agree and not agree, and we have to say why. I think that um, Ancient Mariner shot the albatross because he thought the albatross caused the bad weather, and it ties in with the albatross as an omen. Kalelia, I think that it wasn't just the Ancient Mariner, it was the um, people who were, who were on the ship, because like they agreed with him once and... I love the fact that I can just step right out of it and be the observer. It's freed me up to really concentrate on what people are saying and analyse where they're coming from and what they're trying to say. I've got a much clearer understanding of how they're actually processing their thinking than I did before. I have a question for everyone to answer and it is, what kind of omen was the albatross? The, it's a good and a bad omen, because the good omen was that it, uh, it lets them through like in the ice when they're stuck, and the bad omen is that it, it keeps eating their food and poops, poops on their boat. Do you think it was, um, they got stuck in the doldrums was a man-made disaster or a natural disaster?